Tonight, I have the pleasure of introducing a great New Yorker and a great American, Senator Chuck Schumer. Throughout his storied career in public service, Senator Schumer has been a committed champion of the LGBTQ plus community. Today, he is leading the fight in the Senate to advance and defend our nation's progress, including building support for key pieces of legislation like the Equality Act. With so many challenges facing our community and our country, we are so lucky to have Senator Schumer's skillful, seasoned leadership. Please welcome the Senate Democratic leader, Senator Chuck Schumer. Oh boy, is HRC in the house? Shh. So it is great to be here tonight. Let's go over a little history. In 1999, as a newly elected senator, I was the first senator to march in the Gay Pride Parade. In 2019, I was the first senator as a proud parent of a gay couple to march with my daughter and her wife in the Gay Pride Parade. And I am going to be the first senator as majority leader to pass the Equality Act. So it's great to be with you tonight. The Human Rights Campaign, I've been at every dinner. We're all together back, we're back together again. New York is back, America is back. And I want to say the Human Rights Campaign is just so great. Your president, Joni Madison, is fabulous. You could tell that by her amazing speech tonight. Another round of applause for Joni. I want to thank the HRC Foundation Board Chair, Jody Patterson, HRC Board Chair, Morgan Cox, who I met in Dallas, Texas, and all of the members of this great organization fighting to secure human rights, dignity, freedom for across our city and our country. And I want to congratulate tonight's honorees and distinguished guests for their dedication to fostering and empowering the LGBTQ community. Golda Rushevel, Brian Michael Smith, Jesse J, and Dana Goldberg, and DJ Nico. Now folks, I so believe in you. I've worn my gay pride, trans pride tie. My gay pride, trans pride shirt. And my gay pride, trans pride sock. Are we having fun? So, folks, I am so proud. Shh. I am so proud to represent New York State, where we have some of the strongest laws in the nation protecting LGBTQ people from discrimination. When this community decided that silence equals death, the world started listening. And the dedication to fighting against these injustices have a familiar parallel to what is now going on. We remember their blood, their sweat, their tears, their activism, their struggle for equal treatment and the progress they ultimately achieved on behalf of so many others. Sadly, sadly, the transformative change that we've seen here in New York City has not caught on everywhere. In 30 states, 30 states, GOP legislatures are passing bills to discriminate against the LGBTQ community and specifically targeting children based on sexual orientation and gender identity. These effing bastards, we're not going to let them get away with it, are we?
The shocking gap in our nation's laws directly affects 13 million LGBTQ Americans. And believe me, it affects us in New York. New Yorkers who travel for work, for vacation, to see loved ones across state lines, our homeless LGBTQ, LGBTQ TQ youth around the nation, our transgender children and families. It affects them all. Everyone, everyone should be able to participate in all aspects of daily life with dignity and respect, from education to housing to family planning, from workplace to adoption to immigration. Discrimination against LGBTQ people remains a serious problem that demands Congress's attention. So, that's why I'm proud we reintroduced the Equality Act in the Senate. Essential, urgent, long overdue, moving us closer to a society where all Americans are treated equally. As you know, this legislation is personal to me. As I mentioned, my daughter won the legal right to marry just a few years back. She and her wife have a happy life now. But, again, when they travel out of state or go elsewhere, they're subject to the bigotry and horrible laws that so many of our fellow Americans are. The Equality Act would make sure my daughter and her wife can live their lives with the security and dignity of knowing they won't face basic discrimination because of who they are. No LGBTQ or queer American should ever, ever, ever face discrimination because of who they are or who they love. As Senate Majority Leader, I'm going to put the bill on the floor and let's see where everybody stands. McConnell was afraid to put the bill on the floor. I relish the opportunity. And everybody here make a pledge. If you have friends, relatives, families in states with Republican senators, call them, write them, go after them until they call their senators and say we need the Equality Act. Now, one other issue I want to mention. Diversifying the bench and the nominees in the administration. One of my top priorities has been to rectify our courts after four years of horrible, bigoted Trump judges confirmed by Mitch McConnell. Under my leadership, the Democratic Senate has confirmed more judges in a single year since the Reagan administration. We're balancing the bench. We have nominated two-thirds of the people we have nominated are women and half are people of color, including Katanji Brown Jackson as the first African-American Supreme Court Justice. I also was proud to confirm and nominate Allison Nathan to be the United States Circuit Judge for the Second Circuit the second openly, openly lesbian woman to serve as a federal appellate judge. She is amazing. You watch. She's going to go even further, in my opinion. Just as I was proud to recommend J. Paul Etkin back in 2011 in my quest to diversify the bench, making him the first openly gay man to become a federal judge. And we're doing this in the administration, too. We voted on Pete Buttigieg to be the first cabinet member who's openly gay. And the first openly transgender federal official, Dr. Rachel Levine, was approved as a secretary of human services. We need more Pete's. We need more Rachel's. We need more Allies. And we're going to get them with me as majority leader. So, folks, it's great to be here. The bottom line is simple. LGBTQ and queer Americans deserve the same protections as other Americans. If we want America to prosper in the future, we need to take care of each other. We need to defend each other. We need to make sure we have all the tools we need to lead healthy and fulfilled lives. Most of all, 
we must keep breaking the barriers of ignorance and send the message with strength and no fear that all people deserve dignity in this country no matter what, and I will do that every day I serve as majority leader. I will stand with you to continue fighting for justice and equality for all. Let's keep fighting till we win this fight and we are all equal. Thank you, God bless you, God bless HRC. Keep up the fight, everybody. We're gonna win.